welcome to modular classroom today in this video we are going to see about how to use the smart art facility that is available in ms powerpoint microsoft office powerpoint is a software application that helps you to design an interactive and interesting ppt e contents one of the particular tool is smart art tool we are going to see how to create it in this video so using smart art is the content of this video now we just enter into the video see here i have taken a slide with a simple list of points whenever the teacher explains or gives a lecture to the students which consist of points like this and as they run the slide show it may just look like simply points now we are going to use the smart art tool to enrich this content so how can we enrich the content is the video so for that i am duplicating this slide so now after typing the content what you want in the slide you just type it and you just select only those points now choose cut option and go to insert click smart art and in here smart art graphic you choose the list option you will get, get a variety of list so first one you just choose a simple list so that we will see now here you just paste here by clicking control v and extra text and just delete it this is what the simple list bulleted list that can be created with the smart art this also can be enriched by choosing the various types of graphics smart art graphic you can choose this vertical box list or you can just choose the lined list or you can keep this act as a picture caption list if you contain a point contained picture or else you can just simply use the tab list horizontal bullet list etc various various options are available for giving us ordinary list you can uh, just explore the smart art graphic tool and you can find out various various points of uh, choosing that particular list content so now just for a uh, demo purpose i'm just choosing this vertical box list and next come to the change color tab you can see various colors from this you just choose anything that you want so i'm choosing the second colorful range accent colors 4 to 5 i'm choosing this color and just i'm highlighting this and after after choosing the color now you can move to the smart art style tab you can choose the various style that is available just click it and choose and see you can change the art style like this you can uh, simply keep this like this a uh, subtle effect or you can move to moderate effect or you can choose intense effect likewise you can choose the 3d rotation scenery flat scene anything you can choose whatever the choice of option you can decide you can design by choosing this style so now i'm just uh, keeping this simple style called a uh, subtle effect so like likewise i'm just uh, designing this and if i want the font size to be increased or i want the font to be changed it also can be done because you know the calibri is the default font in our 2010 office but it also can we can also change the font type so i'm choosing some other font and next important point is we have to give animation to this bulleted list so how can we give the animation is just select that smart art graphic and choose animations here you can see variety of entrance emphasis exit and motion path effect for the simple purpose we can choose more entrance effect and we can change we can change the animation style over here for example if i uh, choose float up it will like come like this since it contains many points i am choosing the effect option as level 1 by 1 so 1 by 1 the point list point comes as animation i can also change this uh, effect option as level at once or uh, 
one by one and i also for uh, once again sorry just a minute here i am choosing the other font and i am i am giving animation if i give that uh, level one by one i can see visibly clearly see how the animation works okay this is the list smart art graphic likewise you can use various smart art which contains process cycle hierarchy relations matrix you just explore everything you can find variety of smart art graphics this one is a simple one which explains you about the major functions of the rba so whenever you uh, explain with this animation smart art graphic it will be interest for the students to audience of the students to listen your presentation likewise we will move on to the next smart art graphic it is not smart art graphic but it is a picture tool so here I have downloaded an image from Google which says about the role of RBA. How uh, to design the diagram like this? It is very simple and easy. Come on, let's explore. So choose insert shapes. Choose this oval shape and draw like this. And again choose this. Go to format. Choose the shape uh, fill and choose various colors you want. You may choose anything. If you want the same color, I am choosing that. And after designing one shape, you just give Ctrl C or D to copy and you can paste how much you want. I am just pasting and I am rotating wherever I want that. Like this diagram, I am going to make it ready. These are extras. I did this extra, so I'm deleting. I don't want this much. Since this uh, diagram contains only three, six, seven. So after that, I can design like this. Okay. And to give this arrow mark, again go to insert, go to shapes and choose this arrow. Just click and drag. You will get like five small. Check it. Go here. Keep wherever you want. And again, you just copy this, paste that. Sorry, just a minute. I am pasting that and I am moving that arrow mark. I am keeping here and choosing this. I am rotating. Control C, Control V. Again, I am pasting. I am just using mouse pointers to move. Just click this arrow and push down. Likewise, copy so just rotate.
okay after designing like this just click the shape again right click sorry right click correctly and choose edit text so i'm just simply typing i'm not typing fully so supervisor here again you right click change foreign exchange if your bankers bank here issue of currency here again monetary policy here banker to government here roll of rbi so after designing it choose all the shapes once again so choose all the shapes oval shapes once again by pressing shift key and left click mouse button go to the format choose uh, the shape effect click on shape effect choose preset and preset one or you can choose anything any type of preset symbols you need since i am designing like the same what i have chosen so i am choosing this preset one and uh, text color also i can change as for example i am choosing the blue color and the font also i am giving and changing likewise i can design now here also for um, to give the animation i'm just clicking all the shapes and here also the arrow marks also i am choosing and give right click group and now you give the animation as a whole you can use anything you can also zoom it here also you can uh, effect option slide center likewise you can choose any other options from bottom right okay now now we will just run and see the uh, powerpoint what we have designed now this is what what we have chosen the first uh, list of bulleted text it is simply the text what we have typed with a normal bullet now next comes one diagram sorry one uh, major functions of the rba what the bulleted list contains we are using applying a smart art and giving i have given animation you can use this type of smart art graphic to give an uh, interesting lecture to your students surely you can able to find the difference between the simple text and this animated text and while you explaining the slide show you just choose the pointer option and you can choose the laser pointer like this to explain that this mouse pointer you can able to change else you can use the pointer option as pen so that you can able to do like this you can able to draw and explain whatever the point you can uh, uh say to your students like that the major functions of rba the first one is you can it uh, can issues the bank note and it is a banker to the government like the, likewise you can use this mouse pointer as a red pin and you can explain now we will move to the second smart art what we have done this is the original taken and what we have decided is designed is this likewise you can use the smart art graphic in various ways and you can design your e content very effectively you can give this card after completing the slide show because it here this is asked because you have used the pin so it is asking want to keep your ink notation for so that you can give this card this is the simple method of using the smart art thank you for watching